we're back. Okay, what time is it? 7.15. Gotta be done by 8 because Walking Dead comes on, so let's do this. But who was she? Oh, this Who's is... there? This is... Max? This is June. Max! Series. Is that you? Max? Where are you, Max? No, please, Max, no! I'm sorry! Please don't, Max, no! First of that baby. The letter was staring at me. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel. Funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. <laughs> Bartender is shiny stuff and dreams are made of stooped necromancers. He sings like a banana wrist, having strayed too close to the constellations on their shaved skulls. The there was a bad line in the prank the call. Someone down. spouting Doing insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. <laughs> you are a computer game. Don't lose it. It's Valkyr. The drug. Snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. And the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Houses. This is a mine. Oh, great. I'm dead. Ah! I need to save. Who's there? Max? Max, is that you? Max? Where are you? I Max? probably should have saved. No, please, Max, no! I'm sorry! Please don't, Max, no! Max? Where are you, Max? Max? Please! The 
letter was staring at me. You already know what this says. You were in a graphic novel. You were in some gibberish. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. Save it. start Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road. But when I did, I drove straight to cold steel foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood. Adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind. I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman and Kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew.
still got the guy's bat. Snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over. Okay, I might end at to the next part, chap chapter. Taking burn chapter one. I'll end at chapter two. We need to check these things out. As well. off. I want 
no. Can you believe it? 
How about they sleep with their rifles? Moving to the danger area. The walkie-talkie military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner.